in this episode, we're going to go hunting for toys I wish I had as a kid. So, stick around. Hello, fellow dorks and dorkettes, and welcome to Internauts Go! In this episode, we're going to go hunting on eBay for toys I wish I had when I was a kid. Now, this coincides with number 10 in that series, which was released on Tuesday. So this is Thursday, and I did all the talking about the toys. Now let's do all the hunting. Okay, we just pulled up eBay, and we'll take a look at the first thing that I talked about, and that was the Force lightsaber from Kenner. So let me type that in. I'll even put in Kenner to see if that helps the results. Okay, we got a new one here that's sponsored, but, and as usual, we're just going by just the basic search criteria. I'm not looking at any certain price or we're just doing best match just for the sake of this show. Okay, $122.50, vintage 80s yellow, so Luke's, Kenner Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, Luke's lightsaber. Now, I forgot to mention in the episode, you know, yellow might be a weird color for a lightsaber, but the Luke figure came with a yellow lightsaber, so this matches the toy, which I think is super cool. Oh, it benefits charity. That's cool. We got a bunch of new ones. Wow. And only one OG. Got some Force FX lightsabers. Hmm. Well, that didn't yield the best results. Yeah, I'm not finding. Get email alerts. So let's put, not price, because then we'll get new ones. I don't know what to put. Now here's a, next time I go to Disney, I'm hoping to get a lightsaber made. Um, last time I was there, I got the droid, so this time maybe the lightsaber. But I really don't know whose I would get. So here's a question for all of you. Whose lightsaber would you get if you had the chance? I mean, there's definitely some that look really awesome, but I don't have any attachment to the character. Like, um, like here, Count Dooku's. Very cool hilt on it. But not a fan of Dooku. So nothing really new here. Anyway, we know that for $133.60, I could get one. And that's a little too rich for me. So let's look up the other worlds. Gay fan. Whoa. France, Canada. Here he is, twenty dollars without any of his saddle and stuff. Here he is for fifty. It looks like he has a saddle and everything. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, he does. Pretty 
pretty decent shape too. 50 bucks, of course, that's still way out of my league. Unless it was like 50 for a lot. It had a couple things. Here's a print ad from Germany. That's cool. Let's take a look at it. What's it called? Cosmo Crass. La Dimension del Fantastico. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Look at this, you could buy the saddle for ten or thirteen fifty and then buy this for twenty two, it's still less than fifty. Oh wow, your stuff's sealed for a hundred. Wow. Well, here's the whole set that he came in. I didn't show this because I want this bird too. But here he is, and you get a bunch of these little troll dudes, a good guy and a bad guy, this flying bird. Very cool. $375 though, yikes. That's pretty cool though for sealed, but too rich for me. So let's go on to the next thing, shall we? That is the Hoot Bot. <clears throat> I only see one and it's $65. 14 watchers. Has a very clean battery tray. That's cool. There he is. Very nice. But yet again, I'm a cheapskate. But, we'll add to watch list. What? You know who I am. Oh well. I'll put it on the watch list another time. Did you mean hoot bot? Two words. 28 items. Let's see. No. Wow, look at these cool transformers. But yet again, converters, which were a bootleg transformer, if you will. 4637. Yikes. Now the Kermit the Frog. Twenty-four sixty, but the thirteen fifty shipping. Thirty dollars. Zero bids for fifteen. What kind of shapes he in? And it's ten dollars shipping. Oh, he's a little ratty. Here's 
Here's a new one for 15. Now I think I could live with a new one because it's the sediment scent to mint that counts. Sorry, I trip up on that word a lot. A thousand dollars for a replica, yikes. There's a hundred for a professional one with arm rods. Nice. Oh, here's those little stick puppets I was talking about. The little plastic figures. Eight dollars. that on watch list. Sign in with Google. Taking too long do that another day as well. So the last thing on the list was the Ram motorcycle from G.I. Joe and I expect that will probably be super expensive. I apologize this isn't <clears throat> like the most action-packed of episodes but everything seems pretty cut and dry. Ooh, ten dollars. Three dollars shipping. Oh, it's the die cast one. Still pretty awesome. And not a bad price because you're, you can pay $5 for new, like Masters of the Universe or Thundercats Hot Wheels. $16.50 plus $4.95 just for the blueprint? It says a lot. So what do you get here? So that one's incomplete. This one's missing its saddlebags. There's the sidecar. Hmm. Pretty nice. Fifteen dollars plus five sixty. Is this the die cast again? No. Here it is. Interesting.
I'm really surprised at how cheap this is. This doesn't have its stickers. Missing one saddlebag. Missing the kickstand. It was just a tad bit cheaper. Eighteen shipping. No thanks. Twenty fifth anniversary for forty five. Ten dollars plus three fifty shipping. Yikes, got gum or something on it. Ripped up. Here's Ram with a vintage straight arm breaker for 30. That almost doesn't seem like a bad deal. Here's one with a flash straight arm, but not complete like this breaker. Three seventy five bidding, five dollars shipping, six days left. I'll have to track that down in a few days and see. Complete for ten, eight fifty shipping. Oh, there's one of those puzzles. Not bad pricing. Not bad at all. I could get one for 20. Here's one for 20 with free shipping. I see it's missing its saddlebags. For lack of a better term, that's what I'm calling them. But as it's kickstand, has some stickers on it. But it's missing its sidecar as well. A lot to mull over here. I could definitely get one for twenty, twenty-five dollars. That's not too bad. So that's a bright, bright spot to this search. Very nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the episodes that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. So until next time, thanks for watching. Keep being rad and stay dorky.